What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the High Five Studios Fancast. I'm your host, Noah. My other host, Asher, cannot be with us for this first episode, but that's okay. He will be with us for the second episode coming out in one week. So, I will be reviewing every High Five Studios video that came out this past week when this comes out. So, basically, High Five Studios, if you guys don't know what High Five Studios is, they are a production company that is based in California. They make YouTube videos. They make they have four separate channels. One of them that I'm that I will be reviewing, Team Edge, is not part of High Five Studios anymore, but they are still connected. They still do stuff together. They're not like separated or anything like that. So I will be including them in this since they were owned by High Five Studios before. But okay, now let's get into the episode. So, I will be reviewing the Matthias channel, Team Edge, Dope or Nope, and also Get Good Gaming. So, I'll be going through each video that they made for the week, and I'll be starting out with Matthias. So, the first video of Matthias that came out on July 6, 2020, how long will they let their boss talk about nothing? So, Matthias, the CEO of Hi5 Studios, goes around this episode, or video, and basically talks to people who work at Hi-Fi Studios, and basically he talks about nothing, which, as Matt said, is very difficult, and I believe him there. So he starts off with Patrick. He he Patrick works for Dope or Nope. He does production stuff. And Patrick, you know, paranoid guy. So at first, Patrick is like, is this about Dope or Nope? And if you guys know... People who actually know about Dope or Nope and all that. So you, you, everybody knows that Patrick Paranoid and all that stuff. Because he's been on, what, four channels now that has been canceled. He's been on a lot of ch- channels that have been canceled. So, And then Matt goes to Tanner, his co-host on Dope or Nope. And, you know, does all this. They're in the car going to get lunch. But Tanner starts to zone out. And then Tanner Brank breaks. Uh, not Tanner. Matt breaks and... Yeah, and then Tanner was saying after that, you know, it was super vague, and he was pretty much getting what Matt was saying, even though Matt didn't even know. And then Matt goes to Chanel, somebody who works, uh, another person who works for High Five. All these people work for High Five, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but, uh, you know, they're doing it. Matt breaks again, and then, you know, Matt goes to Kevin. The the this episode will be a little bit weird. It won't be perfect, guys. Super difficult doing this first time, especially with vlogs. But uh, then Matt goes to Kevin, which he does. He runs a lot of security stuff. He's a, he's under Matt. He's still pretty high up in the company. Uh, Ken was saying that he fell asleep inside basically. And then Matt goes to Rose, who works for Chill Records or High Five. Uh, Stu- uh, not high five studios. High five records. Now, uh, she makes music. She has her own channel, Rose. And basically, Matt broke again. Rose was asking the point, and then Matt goes to Michael, who used to work for Dope or Nope. You know, but now he works for Rose and helps with her channel and all that stuff. Matt breaks again. Then Matt goes to Woods. He is working on Math- Matthias' channel. And, uh, you know, he's doing all that. And Woods, you know, people would think Woods wouldn't get at first, but Woods figures out first sentence about. And then Matt goes to Luna, who is his daughter. And we can all, who's, what, five now? No, four or three? Somewhere around there. She, oh, that's crazy. But, uh, you know, she zones out just like every kid probably would because they're kids and, they don't have as long as the attention span. So, you know, good episode, good episode. Wasn't my favorite from Matthias, but was super funny. Probably my favorite of the week. So I so I will be rating each video, and then I will be doing an overall rating for each video for each YouTube channel. And then I will be doing my favorite videos from the channel out of all four. What channel made the best videos for the week? So for the... Uh, basically how long I can talk my best about nothing. I would give it 
I would give it a 9 out of 10. You know, good. Definitely started off a little bit slow, but, you know, vlog, so that it's not like an actual video, but it's more of a vlog type. And then the next video, I paid my employee to shave their head. This came on July 7th, 2020. So Matt goes around, and he's basically trying to find somebody who would shave his head because he's been made fun of for having a bald head because he shaved it during quarantine. So basically, people people make fun of his baldness. So he's basically he try he goes around and tries to find somebody who would shave their head, and he will pay him for it. So he first goes to Michael, who, as you know, worked for Dope or Nope, and uh, and basically Michael talks about like how much. At first he said six hundred, and then Michael said five hundred, and then they also talked about like the different phases that Matt Matt had with his hair. And then uh, Rose, Rose doesn't hate, because Matt went around talking to people about his hair. Rose says that she didn't hate the look, but, you know, that's pretty good for Rose. If you guys know her, or not, like, no know her, but, like, know her mannerisms and that stuff. Uh, and then, and then basically Matt has to change, because they were doing a pickup shoot that day, which is basically taking a doing a shot from the previous shoot because they need to review it so they he need to change he's wearing all white and basically sam and patrick sam works for the matthias show patrick works for dope and they basically said that he looked like he mr clean in quarantine so you know that was i bet that took matt's self-esteem down and then basically and then matt paid Woods four hundred dollars to shave his head and then Matt also shaved uh made made some lines in Tanner's hair for nothing like twenty five bucks I think but uh Woods shaves his head for four hundred but Matt gives him five hundred at least he says he gave him four hundred which yeah because they did it through Venmo and then this is a very weird ending to the video, but Matt does in Matt does the outro with with Woods, and they were doing push-ups, because you know Matt was saying that if you're bald, you can't be skinny and bald, because Woods is a little a little skinnier. So basically, working out, and then onto the third video of the Matthias and the final one that came out for the week. Uh, so basically, trying to sell my canceled YouTube channel. This came out on July 10th, 2020. So Matt is so Matt had to cancel a YouTube channel, which this Matthias, this Matthias channel actually took the place of that YouTube channel that was going to be on here. So Matthias took the place of that, which is Battle Universe. They did a bunch of nerf battles. They basically just like doing battles and that stuff. And you know he had to cancel it because of this quarantine and all that stuff. So basically, he he wanted to get rid of all like the Nerf guns and props that they didn't need. So Matt, Woods, CJ, and Hannah all sat down. They CJ, Hannah, Woods all work for the Matthias channel now. They did work on Battle Universe, but now they do with the Matthias channel. And basically, they have a meeting about it. They talk about what they're going to do with the excess Nerf guns and props. Basically, you know, talk about that. And then Matt and Woods go around the office with some Nerf guns and basically tell people that they're having, a, like, a, they're, they opened a storefront in their, in their office basically to get rid of them so people can buy them. And then Sierra is their first customer, you know, tries to buy something. It's, it, so, if you guys don't know, this is like a office, like The Office, the TV show. So, it's kind of like that. So, there's some script. So, there's some script to it, but not like a big script. I would, in my opinion, I can kind of tell there's a script. But And then Rose and Michael came. and But they did a heist and got away with the girl carts. And then actually, actual like people, like neighboring people... Because they have a studio, so people who work next to them actually came over and got some Nerf free Nerf guns, which 
I wish it was me, but you know, not me. But uh, and then Matt makes Woods get rid of all, tra- puts Woods in charge of getting rid of all the Nerf guns. So you know, yeah. And oh, I did not give my review of I paid my employee to shave their head actually. So I'll do that before. So for I paid my employee to shave their head, I definitely was my favorite. I would probably give it a seven out of ten. You know, super funny when he sh- th- like at the end, but kind of slow start again. But you know, it's a vlog. You can't always have a complete start then. And then with the trying to sell my YouTube channel, uh, I would definitely my least favorite of the week. But it was su- super funny more towards the end. I would give it probably a six out of ten. So yeah, you know, uh, so overall, uh, YouTube video wise for the Matthias channel, out of all, of, with all of them, I would have to rate all the videos together. I would probably give it a seven point five out of ten. Okay, now we are on to the Team Edge videos. So there are two episodes this week, one on July seventh, twenty twenty, one on July tenth, twenty twenty. So, the one on July 7th was Last to Leave the Ice Bath Wins, Extreme Trivia Edition. So, basically, Joey, Jordan, and Brian, they do team match videos. They basically sit in a tub of water, and each time they get trivia a trivia question wrong, they get iced. So, I counted it up. Joey got iced four times, Jordan got iced four times, and Brian only got iced three times and bobby which was the uh kind of announcer for this video we're doing trivia he accidentally put ice in when brian actually got a question right so joey got out first jordan got out second and brian won this video i don't want to give away too much because i don't want to spoil anything for you guys if you guys haven't seen it and then we have episode the second video, which came out on July 10th. It is the Survive the Slippery Slopes Larger Than Life. So they do a Larger Than Life video at least once a month. So basically they make giant things and do that. So this was a, so they did this video in the past, but with only one slippery slope. And they had to climb up, touch the buzzer. But this one has two. So there were two teams. Brian and Bobby, so our team Bobby, and then Joey and Ryan. Ryan was part of Lemon Made, which was a channel that Joey had with two other guys. But Lemon Made is now done. But Joey and Ryan, our team Rye Fred. So they, so there were four rounds. So round one was basically you, two people. So if, at first it was Joey versus Brian. They were tied up with a rope, and they had to basically climb up the opposing side and ring the bell first. And Brian run that, and then Bobby versus Ryan. Bobby won that. So Bobby, or Bobby and Brian, had won round one. And then we have round two. Basically, you have, basically for round two, uh, so one side, Joey was at the top. And Bobby was climbing up, and on the other side, Brian, uh, Ryan was at the bottom, and Brian was at the top. So the opposing team would throw water balloons at you. First one to get up wins. So basically, the first round was Bobby versus Ryan. Ryan won that. And then it was Brian versus Joey, and Joey won that. So Team Ryfred, or Ryan and Joey. One round two. So for round three, they had, so Joey and Brian, or Brian and Ryan had to go down one slope and up the other first. And Brian had won that. And then Bobby versus Joey, and Bobby had won that. So they went on to a round four to see who would win. But before the round four started, they basically did a bunch of like sliding down with like surfboards and a bunch of different stuff. And Brian actually got his stayed up. So uh, round four was basically they all four went at once. And b- 
both teammates had to get to the top first, and Brian and Bobby had made it to the top first. So Team Bobby wins that. Those are team match videos. I will rate them now. So for the last to leave the ice bath wins, kind of slow. Wasn't my favorite team match video of the week. I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. And then survive the slippery slopes. This is super funny. I really love this one. I would probably give it... I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. So, and overall, I would rate these two for Team Edge a 7.75 out of 10 for this. And uh, on, I will be go this will, quick break, and we will be right back for Dope or Nope and Get Good Gaming. Okay, we are back from the break, and we are now onto the Dope or Nope episodes. So there are two episodes this week. 10 prank products that will fool your friends. This came out on July 7th, 2020. And then we also had Killer Key for Women. 10 products made for women that shouldn't be. This came out on July 10th, 2020. So on with the prank products episode. So the first one, they, you know, made editor. The editor uh, change one word to be backwards. So... It was Alana, if you guys, or Lana, and uh, if you guys say that backwards, it is something. And so it's Lana Dislodging Center Envelope. So they pranked Woods. And Woods, so before, when they pranked Woods, Woods basically told them not to make fun of him because he had his retainer in, and he had a small lisp. But Tanner, 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 Tanner. He made fun of Woods, and then Matt and Woods started to push Tanner into the locker. And then Tanner said that he had memories of 8th grade, like a joke about being bullied. And they gave uh, that a nope. And then this was, and then the second, uh, second product, which was a like to buy in a previous episode, was fake bird poop. So they pranked, so they pranked Michael, who used to be on Dope or Nope. And so Tanner, when they showed Michael, Tanner actually touched it, and Michael caught Tanner doing that. And that's how we know. That's how we knew it was a prank. But they did give it a dope because it actually looked super real. Okay, now on to the like to buy for the week. So the like to buy was Chinese takeout. So a gummy Chinese takeout. So the video is is going to be gummy foods that taste just like the real thing. They said 100,000 likes. They'll make it and do the whole video and comment down, down below, gummy gang. So yeah, that's the like to buy. And then, so product three was a light switch squirter. They pranked Matt and they pranked Sam. They pranked Matt before they shot the video and pranked Sam while they were shooting. But... Uh, when Sam did it, she wasn't staying, standing in front of it, so it just sprayed all over their table. But they did give it a dope, because pretty good idea. Now into four, fake lottery tickets. So they pranked Woods, and basically Woods said that he wasn't going to get excited at all, because he didn't know if it was actually real or not, so he didn't want to get excited and then be let down. They gave that a dope. And then... Product five was a shock pack, so it came with a shock knife, a shock laser pointer, and a shock grenade. So basically, uh, Tanner told a story of when he was a kid. He shocked, he had a shock pen, and he basically shocked his sister when she was asleep. They gave us a dope. It was super fun watching them get electrocuted, especially Tanner. And then... For the sixth product, the squirt camera, basically a small camera that you would press and it would squirt water at the person, but Tanner broke it after one one squirt with the water, and then Matt almost got Tanner to use the shock knife from the previous shock pack. Um, they gave that a note because it broke. And then the shout out for the member membership. 
was Mr. Five. So, yeah. And then the seventh product, which is a stink candle from VAT19. Basically, it was a candle that once you use it to a certain point, it smelled like farts. Super bad. It was apple on top. And then Tanner, just to get to it, cut, took scissors and basically cut it open. And then on for the... And they gave that a dope. And then we have shock jar lid. So basically it's a lid that shocks somebody when they press it and try to open it. They pranked Tana, who works for Matthias. And they gave that a note because it's pretty easy to get. And then they had nine bad candy. So basically it was candy that basically either tasted bad or would cover your mouth in like ink. So they pranked Rose by giving her a they basically said that it was for a craft video, but so she took an ink one, didn't really ink her mouth much, and then Tanner, to make her believe that it's actual candy, just took one, put it in his mouth, but it had a wrapper over it, and nobody really noticed. that. They gave that a nope. And then episode, uh, not episode, product 10, they had itch powder. If you don't know what itch powder is, it's basically like a, Plexiglass, like carbon fiber or whatever. Not carbon fiber. But it's basically like a dust that irritates your skin. And Tanner said if the video gets 150,000 likes in one week, he would change his bio to not enough, not enough itch for the hype for the rest of his life. And then Tanner, being Tanner, he puts it on the table and then he blows it. So, and they gave that a nope. So, this doper nope had five dopes and five nopes. So, pretty even. And then we are on to the second video for this. This came out on July 10th, 2020. Killer key for the 10 products made for women that shouldn't be. So, basically, like, is it basically products that that are made for women that really just are using them to, like, be like, oh, sell this product for women because it pink and all that stuff. So they brought, they did bring in Sam for some of the uh, products. With and Sam works for them, work, works for Matt for the Matthias show. So the first one was Miss Monopoly. So they gave that a dope. You know, uh, it basically instead of like regular like houses, they had inventions that were made by women, and you could buy those prop by those and then they had a go girl energy drink they brought salmon for this one so they gave that a dope and then they like to buy for the video so basically it was a so it was ribbons but it was but they had like some insensitive things so the video is going to be a four for ten uh ten insensitive products and they said if it gets to 125 likes they will do it and then Three, which it was a pink Ouija board, uh, you know, came with like cards that you could ask. They gave that a note, and then four, which is in the title of this, the killer key, which is basically you put the key in and you break it so the door is locked and you can't get it out. And then, but Tanner, you found one with like flowers, but he could not find it, so it's just a regular one. Uh, Matt broke it, pretty much, but I'm pretty sure it was already broken before. Yeah, so, they, they gave that a dope. They did actually do this before. They did this in a previous video, like, maybe a year or two ago. But, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt did say that, but Tanner said that they didn't, even though they did. And then, five, pink toolkit, so basically... They brought salmon on this one. Basically, it was just a toolkit that had pink stuff, pink, uh, pink tools. Uh, they gave that a nope. And then product six, pen jewels. So basically, it was a pen and had a bunch of jewels on it. They brought salmon for this one. They bring salmon actually for the rest of these. Uh, they gave that a nope because it was $60 for like two pens, which is crazy. 
and then seven a safety hammer basically a safety hammer if you get in like if you drive into a, a lake or something you can just cut the seat belt get out break the window with it and then you can escape uh they gave that a dope and then the shout out for the membership was miss miss rice they talked and they talked about the membership and then woman earplugs so basically they brought salmon it was like smaller ones for smaller ear canals it was a note because they didn't really work and then the final product a basically they had a they so they bought a woman laxative but it was the same as any other laxative it was just pink and they brought salmon and it was uh third 14 for 30 but they also got a regular laxative, which was ten dollars for one hundred, so it was super overpriced. But they did give it a dope, pretty cool. So they had five dopes in this video and four nopes. There, for some reason, they did only nine, but I think they also included the like to buy as one. So that, and then onto the get good gaming portion of this video. One of my, the this is a very these these are super funny videos. So. Episode so the first video came out on July 6, 2020. They come out with four episodes a week, so there are four episodes videos. Who can build the best parkour bike? So they did this in GTA 5. So basically, Matt, Connor, and Tanner raced, had to race to the top of the map to, and then they had, and then they were, and then first, second, and third got to pick their bikes. Uh, Paul was not in this, who is their, who is the fourth member. He was not in this episode video, but he is in all the other ones. So basically, Tanner got first, Mike got second, uh, Connor got fourth for the first race to pick the bike. So Penner, Tan, not Penner, Tanner picked the Shitaro, Matt picked the Akuma, and Connor picked the Pegasi Body 801. Uh, so they had so they did a, a parkour race. Tanner got first, Matt got second, Connor got last. Uh, Connor was the only one that had to sell it because loser. Had to sell his bike, so Matt and Tanner got to keep their bikes. So I would have to rate that. I would super funny. I would rate it a eight out of ten. And then for the uh, dope pronouns, because I just realized that I did not rate those. Uh, for the first one, I would rate it a uh, probably probably only a seven. I wasn't a big fan of it. Still super funny though. And then for the 10 products made for women, this was super funny, especially when they brought salmon. Uh, I would probably give it an 8. So, and for the who can build the best parkour bike, I wish Paul was here. Uh, I wish they kind of did another race because I felt it was super short. Uh, I would probably give it, this is probably my least favorite video for the week, but it was probably, I, I would still give it an 8 out of 10. It was super good. And now we are to the second video that came out on July 7th, 2020. Uh, Escape the Cops Challenge. I love when they do this. So basically, they're one person's the robber and there are three cops. And they did this in GTA 5 again. Uh, so they had to get 15 checkpoints in a four or five minute timer. And they basically had to stop the person from getting it. Uh, the car that the robbers used were was the Izzy Classic. So Matt 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 went first. He got 13 checkpoints. Connor went second. He got 15. Con uh, Matt got 13 checkpoints. Sorry. Connor got 15 checkpoints. Tanner got 15 checkpoints. And Paul, because it it automa it automatically picks the car for you. So it picked Paul's upgraded Izzy Classic. So he had a more upgraded version. But and Paul also got 15, so for a tiebreaker for around five, basically Connor was the uh robber, and basically he had to get 15 checkpoints to win. Or and if he didn't, Matt, Paul, and Tanner won, and Connor only got 14 checkpoints, so Matt, Paul, and Tanner won. This was probably my favorite of the week. I would probably give this a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, now on to the second one that came out on July 9th, 2020. Building a sky base in Hardcore Minecraft. So, Hardcore Minecraft is basically, you get one life, and if you die, you die. You can't play 
in the world anymore. So basically, this video only had Paul and Connor in it. They said, like, uh, Matt and Tanner were super busy, and Paul and Connor, they have their separate gaming channels. So basically, their fans were like, do a hardcore with Paul, with Connor, do a hardcore with Paul. So And they thought, why not do it on GG? And also, they needed to make more content because Matt and Tanner couldn't make it, so they did that. So basically, they play hardcore mode, uh, and then at the end, Connor try Connor goes back into a cave, falls into a ravine, and dies. But luckily, he has a second account. So for the second episode of this hardcore Minecraft series, uh, Connor will just play on a second account. And now onto the final video of uh, uh, the Minecraft video, probably my. Second to least favorite. I would give it probably an 8 out of 10. Super funny though. Because Paul and Connor just have like. They're so different sometimes. But they're also. They're gamers. So you know. They have their ways. And they bicker a lot. It's super funny. So an 8 out of 10. And then the final one. Classic sports car build off. So basically. They pick a car. They can pick uh, a sports car. So. Matt picked the Swinger or the Stinger. I couldn't really tell what he said, but I think it's the Swinger. Uh, and then Paul picks the Co Coquette Classic. I don't know how to say that. Coquette? Co 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 or something. I don't know. It's Classic. And then Connor picks the Michelle GT or Michelle GT. I don't remember exactly how to say it. And then Tanner gets the Sylvestra. So they race. So the first race... Was just a regular race. So Connor got first, Tanner got second, Matt got third, and Paul got fourth. For the second race, uh, Matt got first, Tanner got second, Connor DNF'd, and Paul DNF'd. And DNF is basically did not finish the race. And then third race, and the final race, Connor got first, Matt got second, Tanner got third, and Paul DNF'd again. This video was definitely Paul did Paul did not do good in this video. He Got fourth once and Dana twice. And Matt won the three race playlist and got to keep his car while Tanner, Paul, and Connor had to sell their cars. So I would rate this video. Uh, I would probably rate it a. Probably a 9.5 out of 10. Shoot, uh, this is probably my favorite one out of the week. And then, so out of. So out of these four channels, my favorite videos that they came out with, so between the Matthias, Doper Nope, Team Edge, and Get Good Gaming, the channel that I think that had the best videos for the week was Get Good Gaming. You know, super fun. They did GTA, Minecraft. They also did, like, the with the Minecraft. Like, it wasn't all four of them, so it wasn't as, like, uh, hyper, definitely more calming. And I like that. So, thanks so much for listening, guys. Uh, Asher will be here with me next week. Make sure to go check out the High Five Studios fancast on Instagram. It is High Five Studios fancast, uh, uppercase high, up, up, uppercase for the beginning of each word. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, here's the signature outro. High Five.